Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Dave. And in this Magento 2 basics tutorial, you're going to learn where have attributes gone in Magento 2. Because they're hiding. And with that <laughs> said, let's jump straight across to Magento 2 and we'll show you where they're hiding to. So we're going to catch up with you on our desktop in just a few moments time. So Dave, we've been and jumped across to our admin area in our Magento 2 store. And if we go into products menu, we don't find attributes. Where have they gone? No, that's where they always used to be. Yeah, from the drop down menu at the top. You used to have attribute sets and attributes. Exactly. Now, all Magento have done, and by the way, they've just worked in basically the same way as Magento 1.9. They're hiding down in stores and then underneath the top label called attributes. Yes. So you remember, attributes are broken into separate products based attributes. And you also have attribute sets, which are sets of attributes. So if we go into the products attributes, you'll see that we've got a collection of attributes in here. Some of these will be familiar to you. Uh, remember the system attributes and certain there's different types of attributes. And of course, if you wanted to edit one, it's very simple. You just click in there and then you can make the changes. And they, it's very, very similar to 1.9. Yeah, the layout here looks familiar to me, and I've never seen this page before, but it's not scaring me with, like, something new, really. Yeah, it's all the same details, just much more nicer on the screen. And then also, while we're here, we might also have a quick nose at attribute sets as well. And just remember, attribute sets are just collections of attributes. So if we go into our bag attribute set, for example, that's where we can add in the additional attributes so that they then go on and appear on a product page so you'll see that we've got swatch image name SKU, and price so dave if you remember the ordering of those first four items and we'll go in into products and then catalog from the left hand menu and then go and pick on a bag product for example is that we will then have name SKU, and price available to us so with that said, we hope you can now go and find your attributes and also your attribute sets in Magento 2. They are there. They're just hiding in a different place. So from both myself, Matt. From me, Dave. We'll see you in the next video tutorial. Cheerios. So from myself, Matt. And me, Dave. We hope that you found this video tutorial helpful. If you have, then let us know by leaving a thumbs up on this video below or subscribing to our YouTube channel. We believe to use Magento, you don't need a degree in Nerd, and we've created you over 300 step-by-step -step video tutorials at understandinge.com to help you. In these tutorials, you'll learn how to use Magento with no prior knowledge how to build a fully responsive Magento website for just $99, which is about 65 quid. How you can use Magento to sell on eBay and Amazon with M2E Pro. And you'll be joined by over 6,000 fellow business owners just like you. And the best part is, it's free to join. So for myself, Matt. And me, Dave. We'll see you there. Cheerios.